All right, here we are, Pastor Craig, on destination number eight of our Easter road trip journey. That's great, Pastor Wendy. Where are we? Well, that's for them to figure out. That's right. You all need to figure out. Uh, like the video, put it on down below, and share it with other people. So, okay, we'll let them figure out where we are. Why are we here? Well, I was looking for a peace pole. Why were you looking for a peace pole? Well, one of our members drew my attention to it, and I never heard about it, and I wanted to see one for myself. In fact, when I was researching about this, it's the number one peace symbol around the world. There are over 200,000 peace poles in our world, and I had never seen one till today. That would make two of us, because I've never seen one till today, and now I know the tradition. What? When did it all get started here? Well, it actually began out of the bombings of Japan and the nuclear warfare. One of the Japanese men wanted to really instill peace around the world and began this tradition. And it came to the United States in 1986 and in during a world peace prayer movement. Oh, okay. So, so I'm, I'm starting to follow with you now. Peace poll it came to the United States during a world peace movement, world peace prayer, and this week's text is Jesus coming to his disciples before he leaves and saying, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, I give this peace to you. Ah, so it's a theme of peace this week. Exactly. And, and who would think that something like this could come out of some tragedy around the world? And yet that's the way that God works. God comes in and brings peace gifts of, of peace and love and, and goodness out of wherever we are in life. And, and that's Jesus' whole life, death and resurrection, is in the midst of the tragedy of his own passing that we are given a peace, not that the world gives, but that comes that we know God is with us in all we face. Right. Peace can come upon us at any moment in time when it's a gift from God. So join us at worship this Sunday and allow that gift of God's peace to come and be with you and, and, and experience this peace that only God can give. For it's a peace that Christ gives unto us. Not that the world gives, but that's given to us so we may dwell in hope now and forevermore. See you this Sunday.